Hello everyone. I welcome you all for my talk at Testrix. I am Anuradha Raman. I work for a SaaS startup in Chennai. Let's get started with the topic of how QA can contribute for UX testing. So what is user experience? User experience is the overall experience a person has when he uses your product or an application. Uh, especially in terms of how pleasing or easy it is to use. User experience design is the process that design teams use to create products that, cre that provide uh, meaningful or relevant experience to the users. This involves the design of entire process of acquiring and integrating the product, including aspects of branding, design, usability, and functions. So think of UX as a user's experience from first landing on a website to leaving it for the last time. UX testing involves determining the best way to meet your user's needs. QA and uh, UX have a two-way relationship. Usability is a quality measure of design. To ensure usability, a good UX thus requires QA thinking. Through various usability tests, you can identify areas where users struggle with the, uh, I mean, uh, with the functions of your product and make UX and the UI improvements. Beyond the UI itself, uh, there are many other quality issues that affects and impacts the UX. So UI is not UX. Uh, UX is a huge or a probably large umbrella term where UI is just uh, one of its spokes. So to sum up, what is user experience testing would be testing of uh, different aspects of user experience to determine whether uh, uh, your website and its elements uh, interact with its how the you, how the website and its elements interact with the audience so how, i mean to identify those there are a few i mean i have the, just listed few of the points here uh, a clear whether your website has or a product has clear navigations, whether the customers are able to access the product information quickly, and if it's going to be an e-commerce application, whether the checkout processes are simple, and if there are any uh, trust symbols like logos, uh, branding uh, that has been consistently followed, and social proof like testimonials, reviews your application has, so that uh, you, I mean, your customers. Uh, are able to uh, identify the social proof there. So let's quickly uh, look at the different facets of user experience. To start with uh, usefulness, how useful your product is. So we must have the courage and uh, curiosity to ask whether our uh, products and systems are useful and to apply a knowledge of craft and medium to define innovative solutions that are more useful. And uh, next comes the usable. So usable or usability is, uh, remains vital, but not sufficient. Uh, probably the next would be the findable. So we must try to design navigable uh, solutions or probably websites and locatable objects so that the users can find what they need from your product or your application. Accessible, just like uh, how our buildings have elevators uh, and ramps, we should have, uh, uh, we should design our uh, products and uh, websites in such a way that it uh, uh, helps and uh, it, it is usable by especially challenged people as well. Credible, we are just uh, beginning uh, uh, to understand the design elements that can influence whether users trust and believe what we uh, sell them. Uh, so to start with the uh, user experience testing understanding this visual outlines that a designer provides you or your design team provides uh, is very crucial so this helps in uh, planning your tests accordingly at each phase of the design so wireframes mockups prototypes or different visual outlines uh, that are that are produced by the designers at different stages of design so uh, the, understanding the key differences between them helps to plan your testing I'm not going in detail with this. You can uh, find it in the PPT itself. Um, this would be a, a simple process that you can follow for your user experience design testing. So before you do the actual UX testing, uh, ensure you have a clear task description of what you're going to test, whether you're going to test a wireframe or a mockup or fully delivered prototype. Uh, so have a clarity there and uh, start with your uh, identifying the behavior consistency. So what you do 
in behavior consistency validation. I mean, check the interactive element states and uh, the alerts and notifications, the toast messages, whether they are comprehensible, whether your users will be able to take necessary actions that, uh, that are required and how responsive your uh, product is. Next comes the UI consistency. So UI consistency, if you are planning for a branding and all, I mean, the color palettes that are used should be consistent and the copy should be, again, very simple and comprehensible. Users should be able to follow the instructions and take necessary uh, steps to attain their uh, objective. And um, I, I mean, of course, doing all this testing, you have to document the outcomes. So here comes the challenge, like whether, uh, whether the outcome or probably whether the issues that you find is the design flaws or probably implementation flaws from the front end uh, developer. So I segregate those issues, talk to your design team uh, about what are the use cases that are uh, that can support your uh, that can support it to be identified as a design flaw. Uh, and uh, of course, if it is going to be an implementation flaw, assign it to the developer and take necessary actions from there. Uh, I have captured few tools that are available to, con uh, to uh, do the user experience testing. Uh, just to name a few, I have uh, captured the screenshot here is from the Marvel app where you can create a user test. Uh, I mean, you can design a flow of your application when they give you the prototype, right? Like you can, uh, uh, you can create a test from the prototype and set a goal for the user to uh, reach the goal. From the, after this would, they call it as moderated and unmoderated uh, testing here. So after the user, you can watch the user do the uh, flow from his end and capture the metrics and uh, create a dashboard and uh, analyze the dashboard for uh, the misclicks, whether the, how much time they take it, take for the reaching the goal, whether they actually reach the goal, et cetera. So next would be the, uh, sorry. So uh, apart from uh, the UX testing, uh, from the UI perspective, there is also uh, uh, other part of performance uh, testing that you have to focus upon to uh, complete the UX. Uh, it would be the page load speed, the analysis, analysis, and probably the DOM loading. And of course, if there are any CSS issue, these are all also comes under the user experience testing. Performance on the page load speed can make or break your uh, uh, application's UX. So focus upon the, those metrics as well. GT metrics is one such tool where you can uh, identify the issues with respect to page load speed. So to quickly summarize uh, the key takeaways here, have a diverse team of testers to perform this design reviews or design testing. And uh, of course, like uh, QA is the uh, best person to identify the customer pain points and uh, uh, bring it to the table. And uh, of course, uh, if you are going to identify a design flaw in the drawing board, it is going to cost you 10x times cheaper than uh, uh, at the prototype level or probably a fully developed product. So to conclude, QA is the foundation for any uh, uh, user uh, experience or user confidence and customer satisfaction. Thanks for the opportunity.